Lord Charles. I don't have no access to Welcome capital. To Lord Charles, I want to get on the uh, states of bid. And I was like, well, have you done your research? I think all of us here have done research in some way, shape, or form because we wouldn't be doing what we're doing. Because without research, we're almost blind. One of the things I want to also remind you is, is that um, the state has a very big minority set-aside program. I can tell you it's not being totally fulfilled. It's gotten better over the years. I have written about it. I have spoken about it. I have complained to some secretaries over the years. And they don't necessarily like it when I do it, but you know, someone's got to keep them honest. Uh, the current uh, person who, from the state that you, the name you need to know is LaWanda Jenkins. She is in charge of all the state minority contracts. Now understand, if you're big enough, you don't need that, but it's also nice to be on that list too. And as Don was talking about trash bags, how many of you have ever been approached by an Amway person? <laughs> then y'all say, I wish they would go away. Yeah, coffee. Right. Well, guess what? They are some of, the, some of the more successful entrepreneurs that you will ever meet, and that is because they're tenacious. You know, you remember how they always used to say, will you please come by my house and have dinner? And you was like, I'm going to sit there and what? Listen for hours on end. Now, some of them didn't take it to heart. I did know one woman who was at the top of the food chain. She saw everything from toilet paper to, to, to trash bags to a little bit of everything. And, and I'm not saying that's a bad way to get in this business, because Amway is still a multi-million dollar business. But remember the tenacity, because that's the kind of stuff that you're going to need if you want to make it in this current climate.